What's happening YouTube boy Tech Tricks back in our video and today we are looking at the Aeros by Gigabyte. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you can notify when next videos come tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out much below my one thirty does a hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. Basically, this is a gaming laptop that is pretty powerful. It's actually a uh, octa-core i7-11800H with 2 8GB RAM. So it totals to 16GB there, so that's pretty good. And then it also has an SSD, 512GB there. And it also has a Windows 10 Home. It also comes with an RTX 3060, which is what I'm excited about because that's pretty powerful. Let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. Here we go. It's actually the first time I'm, I'm unboxing a Windows laptop, which is quite different for me because I usually unbox um, Macs on this channel. But this is a pretty cool one, different, different uh, unboxing, of course. And, um, excited about this one because I've been actually I'm an old gamer from back in the day and I've always just loved the building my desktops and I've never really um, been a fond of laptops but today hopefully this will change my mind here we go and this is the laptop itself right here let's see what else we'll get in the box we get some literature right here. Some thermal pad for SSD there. Let me know in the comments below what that's for. And then the power brick right here. Just super big. Right there. That's it for the box. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up. As you can see, this is the keyboard right here. This is the trackpad right here as well. On the middle here, it has the power button right there. And also the camera, which you can flip over to this side right there. There. If you don't want it, and then if you want it, you can just open it up like that. There you go. It has a logo right here with the arrows right there. This one also has a number lock, as you could see there. Very nice. On the side, has some vents right here, HDMI. It also has a Thunderbolt slot right there, which is a display port right there, mini display port, USB 2 right there, and LAN slot right there. Also for headphone jack slot right there. Now on this side, you get a USB-C right here, two USB 3 ones right there, the power adapter right there as well, and an SD slot. On the back, you see huge fans, as you can see there. Take out all the uh, heat there. It also has a logo there, arrows. As you could see there, the keyboard has RGB colors as well, which is really nice touch there. The typing is um, not as clicky, doesn't make any noise there. For those of you who likes chiclet style of keyboard, this is not, this is not the one for you. It, this is quite it has a bounce but it's not quite uh, satisfying personally i like it because um i don't like um too big of a travel for keyboard especially for gaming i would like this keyboard but those of you who likes the uh, normal chiclet key keyboard this might not be on for you now one key feature of this laptop is definitely the 240 hertz screen right here I'm actually pretty surprised on how well it does. I don't know if you could see that on my screen there, but this is the first time I've used a 240 hertz display, and man, I'm I'm pretty mind blown of uh, how fast it is and how beautiful it is. Like, look at the bezel on this thing; it's like very thin, very nice uh, design as well. All it's kind of close to the Rogue on asus but this is obviously the cheaper version because this is just a gigabyte 
but um, this is made by Gigabyte, but that's fine. So you can see here, uh, we don't have like benchmarks and all that. Now you can look it up. What's the uh, what's the benchmarks on these? I'm gonna try to put on like a generic uh, benchmarks on on these, but it's pretty good, I'd say, because as the i7 octa core and also the RTX 3060, if you already know those things then that's pretty much the uh, benchmark for that but i'm just pretty surprised on the design of this um, i'm really impressed on the design on the arrows i've never even have a gigabyte i usually buy motherboards from gigabyte but um, the, the laptops that they have is beautiful it's quite splendid i'm pretty happy with it i tried an msi a long time ago and i wasn't very happy with it very plasticky and but this is very durable um, has some stability there so that's really good one thing i don't like about it though is the camera because uh, it's on the keyboard there you cannot tilt it up and down so that's not good at all especially if you want to get the right angle here are some of the specs from this uh, computer for those of you who are wondering though they are You'll be able to change the color of the keyboard, no problem at all. It's all in the settings right here. They have an Eros control center where you can change the performance of your chip and also your computer and also change the color of your uh, keyboard. All, all, all of those stuff will be right here. You can also change how the fan works and how fast you want the fan would go you can also overclock using this change the sound uh, change all the settings on the computer all you want and that's it for the day guys thanks for watching i hope i was able to help you on your choice on a brand new gaming laptop if i was able to help you make sure to hit that subscribe button below if you want to get one of these i'll link this down below as well so go ahead and check that out i would recommend this for people who loves to just game and just loves the uh the powerful RTX graphics card built into this also the octa core i7 I really recommend this for you guys who dig into the uh, gaming life and also the live streaming life the price for this is um, pretty good as well I got it for sale which is 450 off it turned out to be uh, 1550 Canadian so that's pretty good as well that's it for today guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that like button as well so you can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.